Ever since the dawn of man, man has had one innate interest. Destruction. Everyone loves destruction. Whether it be the full-scale demolition of a building, or just watching a sheet of ice break, there is some immense satisfaction from watching things being destroyed. Z, the creator of Jujutsu shenanigans, was one of the first people to really harness this interest by putting destruction in his Battlegrounds game, and many soon followed. Games like Realm Rampage, Chainsaw Unshenanigans, and others were fiending to create the same system in their own unique ways. And so was I. But I, being the handsome, humble, and professional programmer that I am, wanted to do something different. This is the story of how I sought to achieve something impossible. I mean really, how can I make something that resembles fragments with just code? Well that, my friends, is what I spent a whole two weeks trying to figure out. But I don't think you guys understand how much of a pain in the ass this was to actually do. In fact, I actually wrote a whole script describing how the entire system works, and it's about a thousand words. I went to actually go back and reread what I wrote, and after doing so, <sighs> It is so boring. Look, I get it. You don't care about me complaining. So let me just show you instead. So I can just pretty much click things to destroy it. And I mean, you can't lie. It's just, it's so cool looking. We can also make the destruction area larger. And like, like look at that, dude. That's just, oh my God. You know what? What if I try and do a really big area? All right. <laughs> My PC! So it turns out that my code doesn't really like big parts. And there was also one more teensy weensy problem. My destruction system that I made only works on walls. Why does it only work on walls? Well, it's a bit complicated to explain, but basically... So you might be wondering, what did I do to fix this. Well, what I actually ended up doing is what any reasonable person would have done, and that is to give up. Okay, so obviously that didn't work. So how are we going to make I... Minecraft destruction? Well, it's actually pretty simple. All we gotta do is cut blocks in half until we eventually get something that looks like blocks. Granted, there, you know, were some optimizations I had to make. I even actually made a whole dev forum post just about it because I really wanted to uncover the secrets that JJS used for their destruction system. And you might be wondering, why do I want to recreate that destruction system so bad? Well, little Timmy, the reason is, despite its looks of being, you know, Minecraft blocks, it's actually really well made. And the reason I know this is because I went to reverse engineer it by using this nifty tool that Roblox provides us called the Micro Profiler. From that, I was actually able to deduce a lot about how the system worked, and I was eventually able to make something very, very similar to it. But that wasn't the only thing I did. I also asked for help from scripters who are better than me. Specifically, I asked for the help of Nitro. Nitro is a scripter who I think is probably a lot better than me, and he actually ended up helping me a lot throughout my process of making my own destruction system. This took me another two weeks, by the way. Real ones would know that I actually post updates about these kinds of things on my Twitter account, which you should totally go and follow. Speaking of social media... That's right, I'm sick of you bums not being able to read and putting Devil Battlegrounds related content in the issues forum for open source projects. Wow, I sound like a real Discord mod. Anyways, thank you to Fel, or Felibun, Philibun, I don't know how to pronounce it. Thank you for 
making and managing the new and improved Devil Battlegrounds Discord server. I hope that we can actually build a community that, you know, isn't like the desolate wasteland that is my old <laughs> server. Which, you know, kinda is my fault and I apologize for that. Let me explain what exactly is going on here. Basically, there's gonna be a split. There's gonna be the Devil Battleground server and there's gonna be the Lee Hampson server. The Devil Battleground server is probably gonna be the more popular one, which will mean that the Lee Hampson server is going to eventually fizzle out. So those who are boosting the Lee Hampson server, consider moving your boosts to the new one. Also, in this server, we're going to have new applications. That's right, new applications. Applying for tester role and for moderator role is now gonna be done through a form. Reason being is because I made the idiot mistake of making tester role available for everyone because I just wanted a lot of people to test the game. But then the problem is now we have like 500 testers and you know, that's kind of unmanageable. Now, I don't have everything figured out yet, but I'm thinking that I'll probably use my old Roblox group, Lee Hampson III Incorporated, as the group for the game. But if you're interested, then join the new Devil Battlegrounds Discord server. And also, as this will be the new home of Devil Battlegrounds, I'm gonna be posting all new leaks and other announcements there instead of my old server. So if you're interested in that, then be sure to join the new Devil Battlegrounds Discord server. Anyways, let's talk about some of the new things that have been added to Devil Battlegrounds. You know, for the past two days, I was actually wearing pretty fire fits, but uh, I didn't record those days. Well, today's Halloween, so that's what you're gonna get. Teletubby costume. As you guys know, in addition to all the aforementioned stuff, I'm also working on power. But because I've been revising a crap ton of old code, I really haven't got much time to add new things. Something I also really didn't have was a game plan. And I'm sure many of you know that because I used to create movesets pretty much by playing it by ear, which is a horrible, horrible idea. But because I don't really specialize in game design, that's kind of all I ever knew. That was until one day when Bach Nero, the sound designer for Devil Battlegrounds, messaged me saying that there was this person who wanted to talk to me. Now, look, I get a lot of people who want to talk to me about my game, and I don't really take most of those requests seriously because I swear to you, like, half of those requests that I do get are from people who I don't even think are old enough to own a Discord account. But you know what? If Valk was messaging me about it, I thought, screw it. And I looked. This person's name was Fel. Yes, the same person that made the Discord server. And if you guys want to make any contributions to the game, then I really recommend that you take a page from her book because she actually did a very good job of actually telling me what it is that she wanted to do. You see, Fel is a game designer and she's also an avid fan of Chainsaw Man and she wanted to basically make movesets that are more engaging and fun and to me this meant two things. One, I don't gotta do the game designing part anymore, which to be honest I already really sucked at. And two, can you even see that? She'll be able to make moves that, you know, aren't grab moves because as we all know, Devil Battlegrounds is kind of infested with those. I've read many of her ideas for the game and honestly, I'm so excited to add a lot of them. And the reason that I say that is because these ideas deviate from the standard Battlegrounds game formula, which is honestly great to me because I want to make something that isn't like the other games. And not for the sake of, you know, just having a quirky game, but because I want to make something that's actually fun to play. Now, I don't want to spill too much new information, but I will talk about power considering that I'm already working on it. Basically, remember how I said that each character would have a transformation? 
Well, scrap that idea. What power will do is actually her R ability will be able to switch between weapons. So you'll be able to switch between knives, the hammer, javelin, and a scythe. And basically, these will alter your first move, which will be called weapon arts. These weapons also change your M1s. So it'll be pretty good for like strategic gameplay. Now, I don't have all of the weapon arts moves done yet because like I said, I've been busy, but we do have the finished move for Blood Javelin. Blood Javelin's weapon art is to throw the javelin. Pretty simple stuff. The special thing with Blood Javelin is that you can hold it out and this will charge the javelin until it reaches a max capacity. And then when you throw it, it will do like twice the amount of damage that it originally does, in addition to being a block break move. Additionally, if you miss on a full charge, the javelin will stick into a wall and then explode, doing a pretty big area of damage. And it also just makes the move worthwhile for those who are trying to use it to maybe snipe someone else. Honestly, it's a super versatile move and it's really just fun to use when I'm testing in the game. So thank you to Fel for the idea. Thank you to MJJBA for the animation. Thank you to Charm for the VFX. Thank you to Suke Man, and I'm so sorry Suke Man. I always kind of forget to shout him out, but don't worry, I remember this time. Thank you for the model and thank you Bach for the sound effects. Anyway, we're already working on new moves, so I'm super excited and I hope that you guys are too for what's in store. You may have also noticed some other large changes, such as the map. That's right, the map has gone from being poop colored crater to a city with destruction physics, obviously. That's what this whole video is about. This map is honestly such an upgrade from the old one, just because of how much larger it is and how much room there is to actually fight, as well as now verticality, which was something that was kind of not existed and the old map. Thank you so much Ziptune for this, by the way. I literally wrote this in the script and then just forgot to say it. But uh, yeah, big thanks to Ziptune. I've also reworked the hop bar. As you can probably see, it looks a little bit different and you can now actually see your R ability. Other Battlegrounds games like Jujutsu Shenanigans, please take this from my book because honestly, it's such a good idea. Like, why are you not able to see the special ability? It just makes no sense. By the way, I'm also planning to add visible cooldowns for Ragdoll Escape and for Dashing because I know how annoying it is to not be able to see those things. I've also made a lot of smaller changes such as making Auto Run now an option because it used to not be before. So you can either double tap W or hold control to run. I've also finally fixed mobile controls. I know how many of you were complaining about how mobile controls just don't save for some reason. And I'll tell you why, it's because I made a one letter typo. So uh, sorry about that, but it will be in the next update. And I should also mention that you guys are probably not gonna be seeing these changes for a while because I really don't know how long this update will take to release. And for those of you who have bought things in the game, thank you so much because whether you know it or not, you're actually supporting the game as I try and invest all the Robux that I make from the game back into the game. And it's crazy to think that I've almost been working on this game for an entire year. And to be honest, I think I'm doing pretty good for someone who has never really made a fighting game before. So honestly, thank you all for all the love and support that you've been giving me and my game. And I promise to continue working for you. But with that being said, I've pretty much run out of things to cover. So I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. And I hope to see you all in the next death vlog. Adios.